Hi and welcome, my name is Anton Monson and I run this YouTube channel 3D Print Tech Design and today we are going to talk about what to think about when giving away a 3D printer for Christmas. Awesome! You either want to give away a 3D printer or you want someone to give you a 3D printer. That's probably why you are watching this video and if not, then hopefully you will, you'll get my point of view on some things here when it comes to 3D printing. So, uh, first of all, I really want to state you that this is not a definite guide. This is more like a guideline for someone that is giving away a 3D printer or want to have a 3D printer. Uh, usually, when it comes to gifts, you are talking about a little bit more budget-wise. It's not that often that you give away like an Xbox or a, a super expensive computer. We are gonna look at some gifts that are that are more or less under a thousand dollars, which I think is still quite a lot, but you can squeeze that down to around five hundred dollars for some of these printers, or even less. So um, before we start, you really should categorize the person or, or yourself that you are getting the printer for. You have two categories. On one side, you have the tinkers, the electronic mechanic engineers and the really hands-on uh, people that really want to experience everything from building the machine to getting it to work, to optimize it, to really squeeze out everything possible from, from the parts. They are going to use the printer as the printer, uh, I mean like a technology. These kind of people, they are usually identified by really enjoying to tinker with things. They, they are the guys that fix uh, everything at your office. They are solving the uh, internet, they are building their own computers, they are soldering stuff, they are just creating a lot of cool electronic and mechanical parts, usually at least. I mean, there's always different types. So um, just watch out for those type of people. If the, the one that you want to buy the printer for, if they're more like to that type of people, um, you really should get them some sort of do-it-yourself kit, some sort of printer that allows to, to get the full experience, learning what all the parts do. Uh, it's also great because they are probably going to troubleshoot the machines themselves and get everything done. And usually these kind of machines, they are pretty cheap. They can go from around like $100 to a little bit more. If you want to check out some examples, you can do that down in the link later. But before you do that, these type of printers are usually, yeah, just get a cheap one, look at some reviews from guys like me or others, others at YouTube and just get a feel for it. You want to be able to get a, like under $500 for these type of printers, which means that it's a little bit easier to find them. Now for the other type of people, um, it's a little bit more difficult because they can be, maybe your kid is studying design or product engineering or maybe it's uh, architecture, anything that is very creative. It might not be very technical, very, um, I want to say nerdy, but you can be nerdy about anything. Uh, I'm trying to find the words, but it's something that is a, a lot creative and you don't, and the whole goal is not to use the 3D printer like experience the technology. The whole goal of using the printer is to create something else. So it's it's a pure tool. You don't want to be able to troubleshoot it. You don't want to have to fix things and, and stuff like that. Well, usually you always have to, but that's not the goal for these type of people. So they can be, as I said before, designers, architects, maybe they're um, into dollhouses and you want to have them to, to get into the 3D world. Uh, I think those type of people are, maybe they're not the ones that build their own computers, maybe they are not programmers, or maybe they're using soldering irons, or just fixing stuff. So the creative people that, that want to be enabled somehow. And, and I think that's really important to try to identify those type of people, because if you give those people a do-it-yourself kit, and you, you can't be there to help them out with the process of troubleshooting, that could lead to a... a um, a roadblock uh, in creativity so you end up with a tool that could be a little bit expensive and it's not used because it's too difficult uh, these kind of people i usually find that they really love to start out that way and if they they get into technology even more and you, you for like the next printer next year um, those could buy themselves a kit or you could get a kit for those because then they are used to the whole technology they have had a smooth path into 3d printing and then you want to explore it even more so get something simple get something stable something that is very little hands-on so that could be the more difficult sector because almost everyone at the internet are just talking about cheap do-it-yourself printer kits so i want to recommend a few models that 
are more or less easy to get going with and starting from like below in budget, a flash torch finder is probably the best machine to start off with because it's so simple. It, it's super simple, it makes great looking models, it uses PLA which is uh, environmentally friendly, you can use it indoors. It's very very simple to get going with and it's usually below $500. Other than that you could get a more or less like Ultimaker. Ultimaker is a little bit more expensive but they are really beautiful machines, they're very easy to use and they perform very well. And there's a bunch of machines in between as well. But you should look at something in that kind of sector. I will link a few versions down below and, and you can just look through them and if, if you want to do that. now. Again, like regardless of what I'm saying, you should always, because this is internet, you could be in any country in all over the world. So none of the tips that I'm giving could be related to you because maybe where you live, that printer is super expensive. So the first thing you should do is that if you have the do-it-yourself type of person and you want to buy a 3D printer for those guys, you should contact someone locally, maybe a reseller, maybe just someone that you know that are into 3D printing and have them recommend a few versions for you. Maybe maybe it's an A8, A8, maybe it's a Tronxy X3S or X5S. I know it sounds really well, all of these printers, but you should look at something that is more of a do-it-yourself kit. And usually you can find these online as well, really, really cheap from stuff like Gearbest and Amazon, Banggood, uh, you name the places, eBay, AliExpress. And if you do, well, you can always use my link down below if you want to, purely if you want to. Um, but these companies usually take a long time to ship, so that's really important as well to, to see what the shipping date is, because it's soon Christmas, so you don't want to have like more than 7 days or 10 days of shipping, so just make sure you can get it fast. So that's why you should usually use someone local. For, and when you go to the other part, which is the more creative people, there's a fewer setup of models that you should get that, it, that is um, cheap enough. And the first thing, as I mentioned before, just on brands, but again, these are usually best bought locally because then you can get service, help, maybe some service agreements. It's much easier to get help if you bought it from a reseller, from someone that you that you um, trust. That, that you can of course get them from Amazon and stuff like that as well. But this type of machine is always good to have a relation with the person selling it to you. Again, if you have someone locally you can contact, you really should do that and they can give you even more adapt and, and optimize tips. Of course you can always comment down below and I'll try to help you identify the person you're trying to give the gift for. Again, never, I, I want to say never, but really don't buy a kit for the creative person, the person that um, want to use the 3 meter as a tool. So when you're looking through the markets, try to make sure that it is pre-assembled or just assembled 3D printer. Um, there are a, a bunch of good printers that look like the do-it-yourself kits that are actually assembled. Usually, not always at all, usually those machines are still a little bit more on the technical side. That's my five cents on the whole. If you have any questions at all, which I'm sure you do because it's a weird guide to have without really guiding, um, it's just that you need to divide the person you want to buy the gift for. And when you've done that, it's much easier to look for a type of printer. And again, look locally, because then you can get help, you can get it fast, and you can return it if you need to. For example, here in Sweden, uh, gifts from Gearbest and, and Banggood and stuff can take weeks, if not months, to get. And if you get it, you usually don't have any support or warranty. So again, check out the sites down below. If you want to buy something, you can do that. It helps me as a YouTuber if you want to use my links, but you should just Google 3D printer, assemble, easy, cheap and stuff like that and you'll find great um, printers out there. So with that said, I'm gonna link a few of my reviews of these simple printers that I have talked about and um, I guess all that is left is just to wish you a really great Christmas and I hope that the person you're buying the gift for is really happy with their 3D printer and again, there's a huge community out on both YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. So if these person are getting issues or troubles and you can't help them, or you have a local reseller that can, there's a bunch of people online that will and wanna help. So um, just be open-minded, have a little bit of patience, and that's it. You're gonna have a great experience with 3D printing. And again, again, last again, comment down below if there's anything I can help out with. So um, with that said, Thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.